OG Crumbs. And my other co-host, the Beasley in the building. Man, and today is episode 52 of the OG Podcast. We finally got all three of us, including Mr. OG. OG, welcome back. Glad to see you doing well, sir. Good to be back. Good to be back. Yeah, you, you were definitely missed. Although you were mistaken as... You were mistaken yeah. as Bezoid. Bezoid. Everybody thought Bezoid was you, and I was like, um, "Hey, it's a compliment. That's cool, man." Uh, yeah, cool, man. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that's that, a good man. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So, so, um, we're gonna go down the list. You guys can start first. Whoever wants to take. How was how was y'all's week? And OG, how was your two weeks, man? Actually, well, I not. guess since I'm the one that hasn't been in a while, I guess I have to start at this point. Oh, yeah. Um, so, obviously, I was really sick in the middle, middle of last week with some really bad heart problems, but I'm good now. Um, it usually only happens once or twice a year, so I won't go into the whole spill about, you know, how that happens, but I'm good yeah. now. Um, but then basically just, uh, well, first and foremost, I did not get the job, which is perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'll be continuing to work the same schedule I have. We'll be continuing to do everything as normal. Um, also I've been pretty much just grinding hard on Final Fantasy New Empire. Uh, I got back into Hearthstone, believe it or not. So, uh, yeah, I saw the update that they had. Um, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually a pretty legit update, and uh, I'm actually have decided as something new I'm going to do in 2018. Um, I'm actually going to be doing some uh, single player mode on um, on YouTube. So it's going to be really interesting. I decided to do something a little bit different for 2018, so that's going to be something new. And uh, the only people that are going to know about it are people that are listening today who happen to be up early or who happen to watch this episode on YouTube later. And speaking of which, people that are up early, Crewdog just came in with that flight crew raid. Thank you so much, Crewdog, with that raid. Thank you guys so very, very much. And I've seen you guys have been working on my alerts. Um, so thank you, whoever. We've almost got it fixed. Um, thank you, everybody that's co that's come in. Thank you, Crewdog, with that raid. Appreciate it. I hope your stream was amazing. Um, that's freaking awesome. Well, that's cool, man. I will definitely be looking forward to your content. I just got done um, yesterday watching your video on Heroes Charge. Um, I threw a like on it. I gotta say, um, Heroes, Cha Heroes Charge, as far as the UI, looks like it's changed a lot um, since the first time I played it. Um, it. It looks like it changed a lot. I don't know. It's had a few major updates. Um, like, about a year ago, they had the big 2.0 update, which was like where they changed everything. As a matter of fact, this was right after the lawsuit that was starting when they had to change some of the visuals so they weren't copywriting or whatever. But, uh, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, it looks better. It plays a lot better, you know. So, yeah, I mean, I'm still playing the game. I'm not as hardcore as some of the other games, but I still play. I still help the new leader um, as far as, like, administrative stuff and, you know, giving them tips on how to run the guild and things like that, but... But I try to stay in a more administrative level and let him make all the decisions. So that's kind of what we're doing there. I'm just kind of training him up. But, you know, I still kind of play a little bit. That's cool. That's cool. And hey, what up, Headshot? What's good, man? What's going on with your buddy? And Bezoy, how was, so how was your week, Bezoy? What's going on with you, man? Oh, my week was pretty good. Um, we had uh, quite a couple of new patches came out of the... Uh, I remember I told you guys a couple of weeks ago about Final Fantasy 15, and right. uh, one of the negatives that was for it was uh, the loading times. Right. <laughs> and they actually worked on it. They they did something about the loading times, so it's a whole lot better. And nice. they came out with the um, with the uh, switch where you're able to switch characters in the main story, so you can use all four uh, four of the main characters in the main story at any time. Nice. Based on the ascension grid, so. Nice. Um, that um, also Overwatch just came out with the uh, the new seasonal. I knew you would want to get <gasps> into that. Handy. You already know. You know uh, we should play together, Bezoid. That should be yeah. A thing. I, I'm up for it because um, uh, one of my characters, Summer, got a nice little outfit that I wanted Ooh. to get. So I'm, I'll be playing Overwatch. Did you? Um, I I haven't sent you this yet, but the new the new character. Um, what's her name? Mora. Yeah. I went 37 and. I think 37 and 5 with her. I tore it up with Mora. 
um, in in um, competitive. So that's okay. yeah, that's that's gonna be my new main. She she's my baby. Oh man, See, oh, yeah. I've been wanting to use it, but every time I uh, I go in somewhere, somebody pick her like immediately. So I'll be like, well, I just do somebody else. You're drunk on G Fuel, then that's what's up. If you ever, if you ever, if you ever want to try an alternative to G Fuel, try Rogue Energy, um, and you could use Co Handy for ten percent off. But no, Rogue Energy is pretty good, man. That's what's up. <laughs> um, and uh, also, uh, Destiny Two had a patch come out where the uh, a lot of quality right, love of you, life good luck, things. Oh, and, sorry, uh, I'm sorry, I'm Go ahead. My bad. Oh, it's okay. And um. New stuff uh, for the weapons where you can uh, modify it to the way you want. So I'm getting into that and seeing how good that will be. So basically, uh, going and checking out the new stuff for the all the different patches that they came out. So. Nice, nice, nice. Well, my week was eventful. Um, for one, uh, let me start off by saying um, my wife surprised me yesterday. She did order my new cam. So th- to Thursday. Um, I'm getting a Christmas present early. I'm getting my LG C920. So no longer will I have cam issues. Thank the Lord Jesus. Oh my nice. God. Oh my <laughs> God. It was so annoying to have to freaking reinstall my cam every day. Every freaking day, man. It's so annoying. So Thursday it will be here. Um, she just like, she just said, yeah, your, your, your Christmas present will be here Thursday and you might as well use it now. So, yeah. So... <laughs> And then right, new cam hype. New cam hype. Yeah. So definitely excited. Um, I I've been playing the crap out of PUBG. Um, we're not gonna get into that right now. But I'm just letting you guys know I've been playing the crap out of PUBG. Um, I love that game. I I'm I'm super excited for that game. Uh, uh, you you hope you saw yeah. Yeah, my <laughs> wife my wife did the research and they said it, it's it happens with a lot of uh laptop webcams. So yeah, and mainly you just need the external uh, an external cam to solve the problem. So yeah, it should solve the problem. If not, I'll just return it and get my money back. Um hey, you know, have I mean? more money to throw at the screen. All right, exactly. Um to buy some <laughs> PUBG DLC. Oh no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> and then, uh, of course, I watched the amazing, amazing, amazing Call of Duty tournament. Um, that's something else we're gonna talk about um, later. And then I also watched another thing that I didn't even know what was coming on, but I'm glad I didn't miss it. The PlayStation Experience. Oh man! Oh man! Did you watch the PlayStation Experience, OG? I did not. Basically, um, the same time the Call of Duty tournament was going on, they had another thing. I think it was in California. Um, that um, it basically, it's like it's like a PAX. I mean, this is just a simplifier for people. Um, but it's like PAX, but it's just strictly for PlayStation. And then okay, they, that's the thing, yeah. Yeah, and then they just talk about um, you know, the new games that are coming out and stuff like that. I watched it. Um, and it was really good. There was one game that really stood out to me. Um, I'm pretty sure Bezoid already knows what it is. And, uh, but we'll definitely be talking about that because there's something that puzzles me that I don't understand why they put it in the game. But, you know, yeah, TK all day, man. But other than that, that's been my week. And, uh, I don't know. Whoever wants to start off first, I know Bezoid, you got some... Some girl, some women esports knowledge going on, and I know um, OG's probably got some mobile game knowledge going on. So whichever which one of y'all want to take off first, go right ahead. So OG, since uh, you're back this week, I said I'll let you go first. Okay, well, you know, I'll start off small because I really only have two things to bring up. One that's small and one that's kind of big, but we'll save the big one for later. Um, but I'm going to give you guys a little bit of history because you know me, I love the history of gaming and I've been really, really like hyped on the history hype train as far as knowing where we came from and finding out things that nobody apparently knows. So I like this. So first and foremost, shout out to the gaming historian for coming up with good content. Um, and I also look up what he tells us just to make sure it is legit. But, uh, I found something new a couple of weeks ago. 
apparently, remember a few episodes back, I had mentioned how one of Nintendo's biggest mistakes was pretty much telling Sony, no, we're not going to partner with you, thus creating the whole Sony PlayStation in general. Right. Turns mm-hmm. out, almost the same thing happened to Sega as well. Did mm-hmm. not know this. Apparently, what happened was that after Sony or after Nintendo went behind Sony's back and partnered with Philips um, to make that shout CD out to Philips, yeah, right. <laughs> that made that tried to make that CD based system that flop. Um, Sony said, "You know what? Fine, we're going to go to your competitor, Sega." Did not know they actually went to Sega about this. Wow. They were like, "Hey, check uh-huh. this out. We don't like Nintendo. You don't like Nintendo." <laughs> Why don't the two of us get together, make a CD-based system, and go hard? Sega hmm. of America said yes. However, Sega of Japan said no. And literally said, Sony doesn't know how to make consoles and games and stuff like that. Why would we waste our money on them? And because hmm. of that, Sony became a huge deal, and Sega went under. <laughs> wow! So wow. PlayStation yeah. killed Sega. <laughs> Yeah, technically, to some degree, yeah, because, it, and the sad thing was, Sega of America was on board. They straight up were like, yeah, we want to do this. This is legit. One of the big issues of Sega, though, is that Sega of America and Sega of Japan did not agree on a lot of things, but Sega of Japan always had the uh, the final say-so, regardless of what America wanted. Unlike Nintendo, who had a little more of an equal partnership, Sega was more like, a, um, not really much of a democracy, if you will, but either way... Um, yeah, apparently Sega Japan's, um, you know, leader said no. They, they basically gave Sony the boot, like, no, we, we don't think you got the mad skills that you think you do. And Sony totally proved them wrong, blew them out of the water, and now they still exist today with Nintendo and now Microsoft. I was saying, Sony's like one of the top. I mean, oh, yeah. it's yeah, debatable. It's, it's debatable on oh, who's the best. We won't get into that war today. Nah, um, not that one, not today. We won't get into that war today. But you know that always that that brings up the question. You know why did why did Sega CD fail and PlayStation succeed? You know. That's, you know I'm glad you asked that. Did you know that the Sega CD was actually a rush project? Really. It was actually not supposed to be released until, I think, eight months or something later to what it was supposed to be released. Um, Apparently, Sega Japan, and and this is, again, God, this historian guy is freaking awesome. Apparently, because Sega of America and Sega Japan didn't agree on a lot, Sega of Japan was kind of trying to push things because they were doing really good in sales of Japan. So they were under the impression that, well, if Japan can do well, America clearly has the same idea Nope. And because of the rush, they released it at the same time as other big things from other companies at the same time. And then they got overshadowed by like the N64, got overshadowed by the PlayStation. I mean, it became just a thing. And then not only uh, we did it get overshadowed, but because it was rushed, it wasn't what it was supposed to be completely. So because of the fact that it was a rushed product, that's why I ended up failing. And as a matter of fact, that's why the Dreamcast ended up doing so well, because that was the last system that they actually had time to create and do it right, whereas Sega CD was a rush product. Yo, 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 thank you guys for the host. My hosts are still broken, but just know that I see you guys, and I love you guys, and thank you. Yeah, thank you for that knowledge, man. I I did not know that, and that's pretty amazing. Yeah, Uh, when I saw that video, I was like, you've got to be kidding me, really? Like, all that went down? Like, that's pretty legit. You know what I mean? That's something. Like, And, and, you know, my my hat's off to Sega of America. They really tried, you know. Like, had Sega of Japan just let Sega of America do their own thing, they might still be a competitor today (sighs) with Sony making lots of money. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I'm saying this from a casual Gaber standpoint, but back then... It seemed like Nintendo had Japan in their pocket. I'm just saying, like, they were all about Nintendo back then. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's oh, up, yeah. Rhino? Hey, yo, it's Rhino. What's good, man? But, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that, that makes that makes sense right there on why they didn't, you know, part ways. Although, mm-hmm. I got to say, Nintendo Nintendo's coming back strong, man. 
Um, uh, Nintendo went hard, um, yeah. especially at the video game awards, which I'm gonna go over later because that's my other big subject. Because I actually watched it. Cause I, I didn't. I didn't get to watch it. I didn't get to watch it. I don't remember what I was doing. Oh, I think I was. I don't remember. I think I was hanging out with Tim or something. I don't remember mm. what I was doing, but I was I was being I was being a a real life friend at that point, not an online friend. Mm. So of yeah, course. yeah. <laughs> so we'll go over that later. Don't worry. I'll give you some highlights because that's that's the other big thing I was gonna drop today, but we'll save that for later. And and, and I, the one thing I do gotta say before we you know um about the gaming awards, I like that they're starting the gaming awards. They're starting to recognize streamers. Um, and I think that's really freaking cool. Um, yeah, I saw that too. Uh, Doctor Disrespect actually ended up getting the very first award that night. I don't know if you know. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do know that. Uh, but the f- crazy thing was, is one of the head people of Able Gamers was also up for the same award. And yep, he sure was. Yep, yep. and uh, yep. So shout outs to Able Gamers, man. Like again, I'm so happy to be a part of that organization and and the footprint that they're leaving on the gaming community. The let me, and let me and let me say this, and I'm gonna say this with very emphasis and love, the positive footprint that they're leaving on the gaming community. Um, there you go. Yeah, the positive footprint, because that mm-hmm. that that to me means more than anything, because anybody can leave a footprint on the gaming community, but leaving a positive inf- in footprint on the gaming community means more than uh, anything. Uh, yeah, I actually voted for him. That's cool. Yeah, I voted for him too. Not because, you know, I stream for them, but I, I would have voted for him anyway because I just think that's freaking cool. You know, one day, one day, that that's another big goal of mine is to is to get a, an award like that. You know, that's way far away in the future, but you never know. It could happen. You never know. You never no, know. Man. You got you to gotta set goals for that. Like, that's why I say, like, I have big ambitions with this, with this streaming thing. But, um... Yeah, so that's pretty freaking cool, man. Thank you for that knowledge. Thank you for yeah, that no knowledge. Problem. So, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into to a hype, uh, hype thing and let uh, Bezoid, what you got, man? Well, before you go into things like the PlayStation experience, um, I know last week they was asking about uh, was there any women in uh, in like uh, being sponsored, and I just had a couple uh, list of. Uh, women that I knew of her um, offhand that I can list for you. Like um, um, Guilty, who plays uh, Street Fighter. She plays Dawson. Um, she's sponsored uh, by Team Graf, I believe. Nice. And um, it's another uh, another one named uh, Kayane. She, uh, she just plays, uh, she's sponsored. She plays Street Fighter. I know um, Yipes' girlfriend, Sherry, she's sponsored as well. I think she's sponsored by Empire. And she plays. Nice. Um, That's what I think she plays Chung Lee. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, I know some other ones that's not sponsored, but it's like right on the cusp. I think if they just keep going to tournaments, they'll be sponsored. People like uh, Coco Blanca and uh, Kyle Police. <laughs> Both yeah. of them, very good, very good. Um, uh, also, Burn Your Bra, which is Burn Your Bra. Funny, funniest <laughs> name I thought. Burn Your Bra. Nice. Like, she's probably um, political I'm just saying for the people that don't understand that that's not to be funny but there was a there was a, the whole burn your bra thing was a political statement for women to um you know be able to vote and have their own rights and to be equal so there's a little <laughs> there's a little history for you for you young kids out there that don't understand the whole burning the bra thing there you go but um i believe she plays uh guile now um, yeah, but it, it's and that was just the FC FGC side. But I know for a fact I've seen uh, the also in the first person shooter. I've seen League of Legends. I've seen a lot of women that's in you know tournament scene that goes that is sponsored. And like my um, friend uh, Tiffany Nazare, she just got picked up by Orbit Esports. And for those that don't know, um, Orbit Esports, I believe, well, we're, we're gonna we're gonna confirm that later. Either Stoudemire is still streaming for them, or he is he was streaming for them. But when I met Stoudemire, I know for facts he was streaming for Orbit for Orbit Gamings, um, which is really cool. I think anybody that's able to be able to stream for an esports team, I think that's really cool, just because it gives you 
I don't know. It gives you a team to root for whenever they're playing. He was okay. Yeah, he was. That's what I thought. I thought. I thought he dropped. I thought he let go and tried to do his own thing. Um, I too was on an esports. Oh, I was on an esports team, but I was streaming for an esports team called Olympus, and you know, I did. Um, I did fall away from that. Um, if you don't know why, you can go listen to a few episodes back on why. Um, but and I got a few other people trying to reach out to me. I haven't made a decision yet. Um, I'll probably be making some decision later on. I'll probably make a decision, a full decision by next year. Um, I do have a meeting with Able Gamers actually today at one o one p.m. So. Yeah, big the big things coming for Handy for the Handy Kill Cam brand. Super excited. And but without further ado, we're gonna go into one of my first topics that I want I'm pretty excited to talk about, and that's the PlayStation experience. Um I know OG you didn't get to talk about it. I won't go too much into detail about it because there was only really one game that stood out to me. And I'm gonna see if Bezoy could guess it. Bezoy, can you guess it? Soul Calibur six? Yes! <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Soul Calibur Six is coming to PlayStation Four. Um, it looks freaking amazing. Yeah, it, it does look amazing. I wish they would have shown more than two characters, but it looks it it, it looks, looks amazing. Awesome. Now I hope it doesn't disappoint me like T Tekken Seven did. Um, well, Tekken Te Seven disappointed you? Yes, and I'm gonna tell you the one reason I have Tekken Seven. The one reason why it disappointed me is I don't like the rage button, um, or the 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 when you when you super when you get your super power thingy and you can hit the one button and do the special i don't like that you know you don't like that they got the option or you don't like that you like you might hit it by mistake no i don't like the option period because that's not what tekken was to me it was it was a part of tekken that didn't need to be included to me it reminds me of all these new games that are coming out like injustice and all that stuff and i i felt like it did i feel like it didn't need to be added you know why they did it, right? Why? Go ahead. Because people like flashy things. Now, me personally, I agree with you. I agree with you. But I understand why they did it. They're yeah. trying to appeal to a bigger crowd. And the thing that thing that's got the crowd hype is flashy moves, flashy ultras, or flashy supers. So it was like, well, we're just gonna put that in the game. But the it, fact the fact that you can't like like stop in the mid like you have to stop it in the beginning or block it in the beginning kind of mm -hmm. sucks you know it, well see most of the people that use it most of the, I, I don't want to make it sound bad like elitist or anything but most of the people who just get it and spam it is very god you know they're going to do it because most of the people that use it in a the combo they're like the high level people Right. Any yeah, other the, casual, yeah. well, not casual, just any other new person, they're just gonna hit it as soon as they hit it. All you gotta do is just block it. So yeah, yeah, it, it's 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 not overpowered or anything. I understand why you don't like it. I actually don't either, but I understand why they did it. Yeah. So, yeah. To me, it don't, takes. Don't let that let, let you don't let that one thing ruin your experience, man. All right, it, I, it I, is I, a great game. I'll give it I another it. try. I uninstalled it. Yeah, I, play Noctis and just own. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I was so waiting for Noctis. I was so waiting for Noctis. <laughs> but, and now here's the thing that puzzled me about Soul Calibur 6. And, 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 and this is cool because I know now definitely OG is going to get this game. But they actually, I forget which Mega Man it was, but you can actually are able to play Mega Man in the game. <laughs> yeah. That's it, pretty legit. It yeah, was, Mega uh, Man is my boy. It was like a, uh, um, what's the word for it? That's the word for it. it was like an, an it was like emoji, right? Mega Man, but it looked just so funny. I liked it. I hope they they do put that in the game. Right? No, they 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 did, but it's not him as a character you can fight as. You're actually gonna be able to play the whole game of Mega Man in the game. Oh, yes. Okay. Which I found. Do okay. you think cool. they they are going to do what they did back in Soul Calibur Two when they put uh, a different character on each system? I don't know. I don't know because from what I understood, I believe it's only coming out exclusively for PlayStation. From what I understand, but I don't know because I mean, I was, yeah, I don't remember either. Is I know that they spoiled it during the video game awards as well as the world premiere. So yeah, spoiler alert, it was there too. Yeah, um, but I don't recall them 
giving out any specifics on console. Yeah. Yeah, they, they didn't say anything specific. But I was just wondering if they did, who would y'all want on each cost uh, on each um, system? Hmm, that's a good question. Question. That's really a good question. For and, Nintendo, and... I would like to make a rule that it cannot be a Smash Brothers character. It has to be someone that's not in Smash already, mm-hmm. just to be different. Which yeah. would eliminate a lot of people, but I think that would just make it a little more interesting as opposed to actually being able to guess. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, so that would be like, as far as Nintendo is concerned, that's my only limit that I want. Otherwise, yeah, pick somebody you know that doesn't get enough hype. That's pretty cool. Who would you so pick? Who would you? Who would you pick? Who would you pick though? Um, so that's what I had to figure out. I don't know. <laughs> See, I I, I, I like uh, OG's idea, but then I thought about it and I was like, it would kind of be cool to see Bayonetta be on there, but she was in Smash Brothers, so. Yeah, they right. just included her, right? So yeah. that kind of just ruined it. But yeah, I do agree with you. I think Bayonetta would have been perfect, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, Smash Bros. kind of already. Do you know who I want to see in the game? And this is weird. But I want to see Solid Snake in the game. Oh, that would be cool. That would be really cool. I would, would like. Be. I don't know where he would fall under. Because I, I think know he would fall under Sony. Sony, Sony yeah. I think because I, but, under- yeah, because I, but I know in, in the beginning he started out in Nintendo. For those that don't know, Metal Gear Solid, the very first Metal Gear Solid before the Metal Gear Solid era, they actually started out on Nintendo. Um, yep. Um, He's so, not wrong. Nope. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Y'all can't debate me there. Ha. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would wonder who would Microsoft have on theirs. That see, that's the thing. You, I mean, you can't go Halo. I mean, because I think I, I think I got an idea. Who? Black Orchid. Who's that? See, I don't even from know Killer, Microsoft's ex- Black Orchid from Killer Instinct. Oh she, yeah. She has the batons. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. She has combos. She has. Oh, she. I think but she's is it good for? Her. Oh yeah, because like Killer Instinct is not owned by oh. Nintendo no more, right? They're just straight up. They are so they own company. Microsoft. Yeah. Yeah. I think and they're I, only on uh, Xbox. Well, they're on PC, but they're on Xbox and PC. I gotta say though, I've played Killer Instinct on the Xbox. I, it doesn't feel right to me. I don't know. Maybe that's the old school head of me, but I liked <laughs> I like the I like the older Killer Instinct better. Of course, because cause you're an OG Killer Instinct. I mean, I would say the same thing. I, I play Killer Instinct 1 and Killer Instinct Go, and, and oh, yeah. believe me, yeah, I, I, I love the old ones. I, I really, I haven't had the chance to play the new one like I wanted to, mm-hmm. and, but I, simply because I do love the franchise, I want to try it out. So I would like to see it on the Switch. Um, DB said, put, put Solid Snake in the PS version and put... Um, uh, ooh. Ooh, Felix what? in the yeah. Xbox version. I can't say the name right, cause my god, gla- y'all have to understand. My it's not that I can't read. My my daughter messed up my glasses and I got bifocals, and so the line where the bifocal, it, like where the line is, like messes up with my reading. So it's like it's hard for me to read right now until I go get my glasses fixed. So don't judge me. Um, new glasses hype. New glasses hype, which I'll be able to get them. I just got to get adjusted. My my daughter though. My daughter. Oh, oh by the way, Marcus Phoenix would be a nice addition. Yeah. Mhm. Definitely. I I would love to see this game on the Switch though. I think it would be perfect oh, would be for the cool. Switch. Uh, talking cool. about um Soul Calibur or yeah, Soul Calibur. About... Soul Calibur. I think. Oh yeah. I think it would be a good um Switch edition. I think I almost want to buy a Switch, but not for <laughs> streaming. Not for oh, just streaming. for personal games. Just for personal yeah, gaming. It. Just for per- because to me, I just don't see. I just don't see it. I don't. When I think of the Switch, I don't think of. I don't think of gaming console. I think of portability. Um, mm-hmm. and so I feel like, you know, that when I have a Switch. I want to be able to have like the power of a gaming machine in my hand, but like anywhere I go. In fact, there was this video I was watching the other day. Um, I won't go full full into it, but Sony is actually scared of the of the Nintendo Switch apparently, 
and it, they're 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 starting to where they're they're not going to be able to ignore a Nintendo Switch. Now I don't know what they're going to do. I personally, Sony, I wouldn't do a damn thing. I wouldn't do a damn thing. <laughs> I would just leave it alone, man. Just let's let Nintendo have it. In fact, you know what? Let Nintendo have it, and let's see PlayStation or not PlayStation, but let's see Xbox take a stab at it because Xbox has never came with any kind of portable device. Um, you know, the Windows 10 thing doesn't count, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, it does not count. Uh, for those that don't know, if you have a tablet and you have an Xbox, you can actually. Um, wirelessly directs your games to your tablet or whatever, anything with Windows 10 on it. Um, it's an okay experience. It's not the best experience. Um, I would, I mean, it's cool if you just want to game with it, but I wouldn't recommend it for streaming. Um, some people do do it for streaming. Um, it's okay, but it's not the best. But, um, yeah, I would like to see Microsoft take a stab at a mobile gaming device. Um I don't- I don't think they even want to even look in that direction right now. They're they're so behind on console that I don't think they even want to look at any other challenge right now. <laughs> they still got to catch up to console. When I think of the Switch, I think of Sega uh, Nompad? Nompad? Uh, Nomp- I've never heard Nomad. of this. Nomad, there you go. <laughs> I never heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of it. Definitely I right, don't remember right. much about it, but I've heard of it. DV is totally right. They, it, Nintendo owns that market. Yeah, they no, have th- so many lovable games. Like the thing about PlayStation versus like Nintendo. Nintendo can make like uh, kitty games and make it fun, and then but PlayStation got to appeal to the more older crowd. Right. So which is harder some, to do. Which is harder to do. So. It, that's why the um I, I think the Vita and uh, the PSP had so hard a time because Nintendo could just give you a Weeaboo game and and everybody would buy it a Pokemon game and everybody would buy it. But, oh yeah, but Nintendo's Sony got franchise <laughs> in your white tee. Yup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sony can't do that, and Microsoft would be even worse trying to do that. So. I don't no, no, Sony's just, not dead yeah. though. Let, let's no, let's they're not just dead. Set the record straight: the PS Vita and all that. It's not dead, but no. it is a struggle. Right, it's just struggling. It's not dead at all. The Vita is actually a really good system. It's just it's underrated. Um, yeah, you know, with the game hardcore, but it's really just... it's really good system considering yeah. what what comes with it. It's really good. Um, it's definitely good. I love the way they linked it to the PS4. It's just comparing it to Nintendo, then you're oh, like, oh yeah, god. Yeah. But yeah. it's not it's not bad. It is uh, it isn't bad. In fact they, they still they until this day, if you have PlayStation Plus, shout out to you PlayStation Plus people. They actually yes, give you a free um PlayStation Vita independent game every month, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, that's cool. Yeah, every month. Yeah, it is yeah, yeah, you can even even if you don't own one, you can add it to your library. So right. when you do get one, you'll have a, a base of games. Yep, you already have a few uh, a set of games in your repertoire. And that's where that's the PlayStation right. Developer Program is, is is with the Vita games. Um, you can it, people make um, the games for the Vita more. That's how the Vita is still thriving. Is that's where, which is why Nintendo will never be uh, one of the. Um, mainstream consoles until they can capture back the hardcore yeah agreed agreed agreed, agreed. Yeah. i tried playing call of duty once on a nintendo nintendo wii one time rip oh it's a rip on most of the games based on their connection their connections is yeah. rip it See, is not okay. is even horrible. even even madden rip um, that, that is one thing nintendo got a they they, I think they're doing better on the Switch when it comes to connections, but it was the Wii U and the Wii. It was horrible with connections. Smash Brothers was, ooh, it was horrible to play online. It was. See, that's the whole. That's the only game I want to like. There's like three games I would play on the Switch right now. It'd be the uh, Smash Brothers, um, and then um, Zelda, and then the uh, Wild. Yep, 
And then um, what's the other game? Oh, uh, Mario Kart. Man, yeah, yep. Mm, yep. Those Mario Kart's so good. <laughs> Well, I got I would add two more because I love the Bayonetta series and Bayonetta is not on uh, PlayStation. I would have to get play, uh, Bayonetta 2, of course. And it's a 3 coming. There is a 3 coming. Bayonetta 3. I'm looking forward to that. Um, last game would be uh, uh, probably Mario Party because I like playing that with a bunch of people. I like to. Yeah, Mario Party has been our thing for a while. So, yeah, yeah. I do like Mario yeah, Party. We, that's what, yeah, it was actually one of the games we would go over and play at OG's house was Mario Party. We'd all oh, sit yeah. around, eat pizza, and play Mario Party. But we'd add our own little twist to it. And it was yeah, pretty cool. Did. It was legit. Uh, I you would had add house one rules? more game to the list. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would actually also add Fire Emblem games for the Switch as well. They don't have hardcore games on uh, the. Mainstream Nintendo has been has a long history of being in the video game industry. They are mainstream in their own rights. Facts. They don't have to be like PlayStation or Xbox. Agreed. I can see that. I can see that. I can see what you're saying, Diesel. I can see what you're saying. They're they're like Nintendo. Like, it don't matter. Nintendo is like a staple. You know what I mean? I can see what she's saying. She's they basically... can do whatever they want, and you know it doesn't even matter. Like, they're not even really worried about competition. They're just doing what they know they can do best and just have fun with it. Let everybody else rest and do your own thing. Right, right, right. Everybody else be a follower while we be a leader, pretty yeah. much. It's pretty much how that looks like. Yeah, Um. so I don't know. I've been on the fence about getting a Switch because, like, you know what I mean? But it's like, because, you know, but my wife's like, but you play mobile games on your phone. But it's like, mobile games on the phone don't give me the same fulfillment as, like, an actual console game does. Now, maybe for somebody like OG, maybe, you know, because he's like, that's his thing. But me, I don't get the same fulfillment. Like, I've, I haven't, I haven't touched Final Fantasy, Age of a New Empire, in probably two weeks. Or I've like, not because of any reasons. I just, I get like, there's not a call. There's like not something like, oh, I can't wait to to do this, you know, in the game. Oh, I can't wait to complete. Like it doesn't, it doesn't appeal to me. Does that saying mobile gaming is bad? No, it's just something that just doesn't like keep me interested. Although I have been thinking about getting back in the Hearthstone myself because of the new update, and that's a game yeah, actually. That ridiculous yeah, yeah it's actually a game i Love do it. miss playing um you know um i actually play that game on pc well, too i'll hop you up next year i'll hop you up on 2018 on it don't worry i'll put uh, some videos out and get you okay good 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 yo <laughs> and shout out to you again man you are you are on fire on youtube right now and and and, and it's not because you're doing what everybody else is doing let og be an example that He's doing what he wants to do on YouTube, doing what he loves on YouTube. But on top of that, not only is he doing what he loves on YouTube, but it shows. Um, mm -hmm. you and, and, and what I mean by that is if you love doing something and you're like this. Hey, guys, what's up? Um, this is Handy Killcam. Um, I just um, just want to show you, tell you guys I really love this game. This game is awesome. <laughs> if you do that. Uh, you know, but OG is like he's doing the games that he loves, and he's got uh, he's excited, he's got enthusiasm, and he's taking off, man. I still can't believe over forty one hundred views in one video, man. Like, dude, shouts out to you, bro. Shouts out to you. Uh, I appreciate that. It was an older video, but I do appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was just. I guess it just worked out better than I thought. I'm just doing what I might say. Now, I'm not a big shot or nothing like that. I don't want to give anyone the wrong idea. Like, I'm not one of the, you know, most popular videos they're going to find out there in general. Because I mean, there are lots of people who, honestly, I think deserve the spotlight um, 10 times more than I would ever deserve. But the fact that some people are watching my videos, I do appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching. Watch. He's very <laughs> humble, but he has five or me and my wife looked at all his videos. He has five or six videos that are in the three digits. Um, that's that's nice. that's nice. pretty amazing. Um, so shouts out to you, man. 
But um, yeah, um, I think um, who else wants to go next? Cause I already talked about my Sony experience. Experience. Uh, I, I I do have to talk about the Sony experience because okay. yeah, you aside know more. from uh, Soul Calibur Six, I was kind of let down. I, I I I was um expecting to be shown a few more games, and I felt as though they talked a little too much for a ninety minute show. Yeah, was, no, they did. They really did. Yeah. Um. One thing I was hoping, I was really, really hoping for them to show was something for Final Fantasy VII, the remake. And <laughs> it's I not coming. To, <laughs> I gotta hold on to hope, Handy. I gotta hold. On. I know. <laughs> I was like, give me something. Show me what you guys have been doing. Just a couple of screenshots or a little trailer or something. They didn't show nothing. And another thing I thought they were going to show was something for Kingdom Hearts 3. Nothing. Not coming. No, it's not coming. <laughs> I've, I've already said those are not coming. They've, they've, they've said, bye, Felicia's. They're not. Look, we have more chance of me getting up and walking on Twitch then <laughs> these games coming out. Uh, all right, well, uh, something I do know is coming up. Uh, that seems to be the trend for PlayStation's presentations. Right, DV. Uh, one thing I do know is coming out, and I believe it's coming out very soon, and I thought they would show something, was God of War. And they showed, they, they, they didn't. They talked about it, but they showed nothing. I'm like, you ain't got a little video to get, you know, to get... They nobody's taking what they're doing with Dragon Ball Fighters and all that momentum that they're doing with their marketing. Nobody paying attention to that and generating steam under other games. And I'm like, come on, man, this is your presentation, PlayStation, Sony. Show me Go something. Nuts. <laughs> Go nuts. This is yours. Nobody else shared this stage, and they didn't. They let me down. And they all and sat on a bunch of couches, couches like a bunch of girls. I'm just being honest. <laughs> right. I'm just I being honest. Like, I felt like I was like watching the episode of the talk or something. And <laughs> <laughs> the view, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh, okay, here, here comes the next but here comes the next bunch of women sitting on the couch and they're Sony's gonna see the view. Right. And I'm dude, you, you ninety minutes. Ninety minutes. You could have shown me something. Anything. Just um was days gone coming. Mm. You could have shown me that. You could they, they could have did better. I know it's a couple of things, uh, a couple of events that'll be coming up soon, and I know Capcom Cup was at the same time, so I don't think they was gonna show anything <laughs> for Capcom. But I thought they would do something, just something. What's wrong with with what's wrong with being a female? Like what? The... No, I'm not saying <laughs> that. I'm just saying like it was very, <laughs> it was just very like wah. Like, I just thought we were going to sit there. Like, it just didn't feel... It didn't feel like a gaming convention. It felt... It just it, it didn't. Like, it really didn't. And then, another thing that I got to say, too, and, you know, I know that's opinionated. A lot of people like one-player games. I honestly think PlayStation's coming out with too many, like, um, like adventure one-player games. Although, that's their key, and that's their market, and that's something they do amazing with. I would like to see them step out the box a little bit more, but they have it. And to be honest, I'm going to be real with you, and this is probably stupid. I was hoping to hear something um, about H1Z1, because from what I heard is that um, H1Z1, when it, when it gets fully released, it will be dropping exclusively on the PlayStation first before it gets to Xbox. So I was thinking, I was thinking maybe... Um, we were going to hear something about that because officially H1Z1 has officially dropped the name King of the Kill on their, whatever their expansion thing was called. And now H1Z1 is just called H1Z1 now. So like now um, the survival part of the game is H1Z1. So I was I was kind of from that from that standpoint, I was thinking that maybe we were, we were going to get a release date soon on when H1Z1 was going to drop on console um and again that's all rumor based i could be wrong about the playstation that's rumor based but i was kind of hoping you know maybe because again i'm gonna get all all the battle royal games just because that's my favorite genre right now um so i'm gonna get all the top ones like you know i have fortnite i have PUBG, 
And when H1Z1 drops out on console, I'll get that one too. Um, oh, just man, look, the chat is ready to get on that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, hope that goes before, better. Before you go there. Before yeah, go yeah, there, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. But go ahead. <laughs> before you do go there in that direction, um, it is. It, I just thought they would be better. I just thought I was looking forward to more. People were falling asleep in the crowd. Yeah, people were fall. I mean. I know everybody was like, let me throw my money at the screen. And they were looking at the screen and was like, there's nothing to throw it for yet. Yeah. <laughs> like, Come yeah. on, man. That's one thing I will say PlayStation has over, I mean, Xbox has over PlayStation. You know, pe- people say Xbox, PlayStation has the exclusives, but PlayStation sucks as presenting them their exclusives. They, they uh, suck. They <laughs> suck at marketing. They really yeah, suck at marketing. Yeah, they, I do got a question to ask you and OG. Okay. And, um, I seen this um a teaser trailer for this game and it was after PlayStation Experience and um I was like I wonder what do you think about it? It's a game called The Walking Dead, right? Mhm. But it's not like the Telltale series that they got with the story. It's actually a first person shooter. Mhm. And I was like I wonder would you guys be interested in that? Is it like zombies? zombies? Yeah, yeah, it's like zombies, but I believe from what I took of the trailer, it looks like you'll be able to make your own character and you'll be able to um, live as if you're in the world of The Walking Dead. I don't know. See, I'm not, I'm not into, I'm not much into the zombies because it seems like, I don't know, I'm like over the zombies. Yeah, I'm so over (laughs) zombies. I'm yeah, always... I'm kind of on the same boat. Like, I, I'm just not on the hype train when it comes to zombies anymore. I'm kind of burnt out on it, you know? <laughs> um, it would have been cool maybe, like, 10 years ago, but <laughs> nowadays, I just don't care anymore, you know? I, I just... It just seems like every every other game has a zombie mode on it, so why make a game based on it when you could play any other shooter game and have that, too? The, the thing that, that caught my interest, and I agree with you, has been done a lot. The thing that caught my interest is okay. Let's uh, take uh, Dead Island and uh, Dying Light for example, right? You couldn't customize your own character. You get you 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 had a set of uh, ways to level up your character, but you couldn't make them the way you want to make them. Right, no skills or nothing. Mm-hmm. Right, if they are if they make this to where you're crafting the character the way you want to. That is interesting. That hasn't been done, and so that's what caught that. That's what caught my eye, and I was wondering, did anybody else see that? I didn't. I didn't see. I didn't see the trailer. I didn't see the trailer, so I don't know. Uh, I probably was in the restroom when that happened. Um, mm-hmm. when the trailer happened, but I didn't see it. But I mean, that's kind of cool. Um, I've always wondered. This is if we're gonna go here. Why did you know? Why did they don't make it to where like you can. Where it's like a human versus a zombie, I always wondered like, why why didn't they make it where like the actual human can control the zombies, um, and like have like, cause what let's see, you have, we'll see, you have like, you have all these games like, now here, here here's an idea, you have all these games with a hundred people right, um like with a hundred people in the game right, like Fortnite mm-hmm. you have a hundred people. H one Z when you have a hundred and feet, hundred and fifty people in a lobby. So why not? I get, well, I guess it would be something like that's already done in Call of Duty. But why not make a hundred and a hundred and forty nine people zombies, and you be the one person, and you're like, but you're actually instead of shooting AI zombies, you're shooting human zombies, or PVP zombies, and you're making your own custom zombie, or your own custom human. Is that is that out already? Am, am am I missing something? Is that out already? They got a. They got something that similar. Kind of does that. I know uh, Call of Duty had a, a mode similar to that, what you call infected. Right. Where a person becomes infected, but you never get to customize your own uh, zombie or stuff like that. So, like hmm. that'd be cool. That'd be cool to like level up your zombie, and then like your zombie have like special skills or you know whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Yeah. That would yeah. be that would be interesting. I don't know. Well, if that's that... something they could have done to the Walking Dead game. They maybe should have just did a thing where, like you just said, you know, 
uh, customize the player, but also customize the zombie the as customize, well. Customize and the zombie have multiplayer well. lobbies to where, you know, you can have... It doesn't have to be just one human. It can be, like, five humans and, like, you know, 95 zombies or whatever. Right, exactly, you know? exactly. And then, you know, and have different types of zombies, too. Like, you can have, you know, like, the big, bulky one. Only, like, X amount of people can be the big, bulky one. and right. have a lot of small ones and the ones that do different things. I mean, really, there's a lot of customization that can be done if they really want to take it seriously. Right, um, yeah. So it could be doable. It could be doable, but, I, you know, again... <laughs> Again, we're not. Our voices are not big enough, but maybe one day. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Baby yeah. Steps. Well, yeah, baby steps. <laughs> but um, you know, I, I always, I always wondered why like that wasn't a thing, because like my biggest thing about zombies that turns me off to zombies, I hate shooting AI things. I just, I just, it just it, like to me, it just drives me nuts. Um. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm, I'm just because it's like me. I was like, well, I played against a lot of AI stuff when I was younger, so why do I have to do that now when we have technology and I can go and shoot an opponent? You know what I mean? But, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that. Yeah, I'm, I get where you're coming from. Yeah, but that's just me. You know, um, you know, not saying that PVE is a bad thing. There are some very good PVE games. You know. Um, Fortnite is one of them. Um, I have a lot of respect for the Fortnite PVE. It's just not my thing. Um, you know, again, because of zombies. Um, <laughs> you know, I just, mm -hmm. you know, but it, but just because it's not my thing doesn't mean it's a bad thing or people shouldn't right. play it. I think um, just because I think it's bad, I don't think somebody should not play something or whatever. I think you should try it out for yourself. If you like it, you might love it. That might be your thing. You might enjoy it. Uh, hold on. While they are not in technically zombies, the Fortnite hands in Last of Us was handed. Oh, the hand fungus over. guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in Last of Us. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, they were technically zombies, and they, they they were very very well done. I liked it the way that you you know what, what he's talking about, right? No, probably not. I've seen the trailers for Last of Us and, and a few stuff, but I haven't I haven't dove into it again because I was just like, <gasps> mm, no, I thought it was gonna be another zombie game. <laughs> yeah, it was it was the the specific type of bad guys in uh, Last of Us, where um, I know it was one that uh, they couldn't see you but they could hear you. Uh -huh. And um, so you you had to watch the way you, um, you, how you step, how loud you were around them. And uh, yeah, I know about those guys. And there was some that automatically kill you if they got like close to you. So yeah, those are done real nicely in that game. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Well, I wasn't gonna dive into this yet. I was actually gonna go into Call of Duty, but maybe we should since it's almost eleven, and then I'll save the Call of Duty thing for the last. Um, but the, here, here, here it is for a lot of people that are, that are, that are been here. I know my debate squad and chat's ready for this debate. Um, just debates here. We got crew dog here, but I'm going to go off by saying this. I love, I love PUBG on Xbox one. Okay. I know you don't get the 160 frames per second, the 90 frames per second, whatever. Um, I, I know that I um, I know there's a lot of issues, but you have to understand where I'm coming from, okay? I have PUBG on my laptop. At the very best, it only averaged at 11 frames per second, and the buildings wouldn't render barely at all, okay? And when they were rendering, I couldn't move my character, okay, at all. And I would get ne network air, and I'd be stuck in the sky. So I literally. Two seventeen said loves big butts, and I can't deny. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, 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 you know, I, 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 you know. So for me, this is a upgrade. This is an upgrade, for me. Okay. Now I understand for you people that have played it on the PC and that have PUBG on the PC, you consider this to be a downgrade, and I understand that people that bought the Xbox One X, you're getting cheated. I get that. Totally get that. Get that understandable. But I believe that doesn't mean that the game is not playable. I still think the game's enjoyable. 
Um, personally, I don't know if it's me or if it's because I, um, you know, I, me personally, it's just me. When I say this, it's just me. I'm not saying that it's better than Fortnite. Me, I enjoy the game better than Fortnite. Only because me, the, the, I, I, I respect the building in Fortnite. I think it's cool. But me, it, 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 it drives me nuts to where, like, I feel like I have to build the win. And I can't focus on shooting. And then when I do focus on shooting, I can't see the crosshair good enough to get my thing on the target. And it's hard for me to kill. Now, on, on, on freaking, freaking PUBG, I can go ham. Now, does that mean that PUBG, um, you know, doesn't have its problems? No, it does. But I gotta say this, and and this is something that nobody can argue with me on. At least it launched better than Call of Duty World War Two. The Call. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> least it launched better than World War Two, and you know what I'm saying. And Call of Duty World War Two is a triple A game. It is quote unquote a finished game. It's a polished game. This, on the other hand, is not a polished game, not a finished game. has a lot of has a lot of finishing touches that need to be done on both sides, on both sides, on the PC side, and on the and on the Xbox side. And personally, I don't think, to be honest with you, and this is this is going out for a reach. This is going out for a reach. This is an opinion. I honestly think the reason why PUBG does not do well on the Xbox, I don't think it's Blue Hole's fault. I think it's the place. To, I think it's the X. The I think it's Microsoft's fault because they decided to cap it. Um, you know the main reason why PUBG does so well is because people are able to customize their computers and to get the frame rates. And to get the the better experience of Fortnite, to get the 120 frame rates, okay. Unfortunately, you can't do that with Xbox. So there's nothing you could do to get more frame rates. But there is. It's called the Xbox One X. But they don't want people to have the frame rate advantage. But if that's the case, then why do people get the frame rate advantage on PC? So that's why I'm saying if if it was Blue Hole's fault, then it would be okay. Well, then having you know people having 90 frames per second on the PC uh, on one PC, and then people having 150 frames per second on another PC wouldn't be fair, and Blue Hole would have to fix that. But uh, Xbox is the ones that are saying that Xbox does not cap it from uh, frame rate. The developers do. The developers um, are planning to say they were uh, uh, carrying the frame rate to have a stable game performance. But, see, here's my thing. That doesn't make sense to me. Then why is it okay for, for computers to have different frame rates? Why do they not cap computers? It, one, one, they can't cap computers. Oh, because okay. a computer can be modded. Um, right. The uh, Xbox, unless you are a um, supreme hacker, <laughs> uh, I doubt you're going to be able to mod the Xbox. Um, and it is the developers. Just DB is correct there. It's, it's not Microsoft's fault. The developers capped it themselves. They could increase it. They didn't want to. That's on them. I hear. I hear a rumor. Rumor says that they are eventually going to make it sixty. Um, but some games do. Xbox does, but not have the. So I mean, like I said, I enjoy the game, and if it's like, and this is this is a suggestion I have for you. If you're somebody that wants to play PUBG. And you're not able to play PUBG on your PC, and you really want to play the game, it's a good buy. Now, are you gonna have errors? Are you gonna have issues? Yeah. But let me share. Let me share something with you. 
I've had Call of Duty crash on me more times in an hour than I have PUBG crash on me in the 10 hours that I've played PUBG. PUBG has only crashed on me five times in the 10 hours that I've played that game. Call of Duty has crashed on me probably five times in one hour. So there's there's issues. Is that saying PUBG is better than Call of Duty? That's an opinion. I specifically, I specifically like Battle Royale games in general over Call of Duty because I feel like there's more of a reward out of Battle Royale games than it is just playing Call of Duty. And, you know, um, I'm playing GBs right now, you know, with my squad um, and everything like this. And, uh, yeah, and I feel that in whether it's Fortnite, whether it's H1Z1, whether it's PUBG, I think they're both all more fulfilling than the um then um call of duty for me anyway it gives you that adrenaline and somebody said it uh, i was watching somebody i was watching somebody the other day play PUBG, and you know we were having a discussion about PUBG and fortnite it gives you the same adrenaline as you would if you were on call of duty and you were about to get a nuke but you get that you get that um ad uh, uh, adrenaline more the flu more fluent when you're playing PUBG rather than um, Call of Duty, because then you're not going to be able to drop a nuke. You're not a Stoudemire. You can't drop a nuke almost every game. You know. What I you mean? know so, why though, right? Why? What's that? The reason why you have that feeling is because if you die one time, that's game over, and you got to restart again. Right. You, you, I don't think you should judge those two together, because they are different. One is your good genre of battle royale and player um, shooter. I feel as though they shouldn't even be compared. Um, actually, I don't even think you should compare PUBG to Fortnite because no, even no, though you... they're in the same genre of battle royale, one in, in in promotes engagement while the other promotes a more stealthy approach, a more lay, uh, a more campier approach. Yeah. So I I think they they shouldn't be even judged together. I should just think if you enjoyed the game, handy. You enjoy that game and you go play it because you a gamer. Right. Um, as far as um, com comparing it to others, I don't think they should because Call of Duty got problems because they tried to implement something that they shouldn't have, which was the headquarters thing. They shouldn't have done that. We didn't ask for it. It was kind of cool, but we didn't ask for it. We just wanted great gameplay. Headquarters thing make everything cra crash. That's their fault. But having um hitches and having a uh, render problem in PUBG, eventually they're gonna fix it you and i both know that yeah they are i mean and that that's the thing and you know it's our fault it, you know it's our fault as consumers these things happen okay no no it's not our fault well no 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 let, let me let me finish let me finish because think about it right if 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 people didn't buy into betas and have finished games and it didn't take off as it was. They wouldn't. They would have already completed the game by now. If it, no, nah, I do agree with you there. If if we didn't throw our money to <laughs> everything the way we throw our money, yes, you're right. But it would force the 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 companies to put out a more polished product, which right. is the problem. They need to put out polished product. But we got so many people. I got money. Here it is. You yep. know, and I'm one of them. I like I was dot like. You don't understand, like, I was specifically not watching PUBG on Twitch, not because I was tired of the game, but it would bother the crap out of me that I couldn't play the game, I wanted to play the game, because I had the game on PC and I couldn't play it. I mean, I probably <laughs> could if I wanted to blow up my PC, but then I can't stream, so, rip, you know what I mean? So, and you know, and it's like, man, I want to stream this game, you know, and, um... So the fact, so I was like dying, I was like dying. Like I was literally, me and my homeboy were at like 10.59, my homeboy in San Antonio, you know who I'm talking about, Tim. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I got, yeah, yeah, I got I Tim on, I got Tim on the PUBG train. Oh gee, <laughs> like Tim absolutely loves the game. So like, we're sitting there like waiting, waiting, waiting. And like, of course he was mad because his game took like two hours to download, mine took 15 minutes. Poor Tim's only got, <laughs> poor Tim's only got, this is AT&T Fiber. He's got, supposedly he's got AT&T Fiber, the same speeds that Grandpa does, but 
he's only getting three megabytes per second download. Uh, whoa, wait, wait, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing something wrong. There. That's what I he's said. I was like, I was like, bro, you need to, you need to call them. That was made right there. You need to call them and you need to do something. I was like, that's not oh. even. I was like, I was like, that's not even legit. You yeah, know what that's, I mean? that's not even something, cool. Something wrong there. And he pays more than I do. I mean, I don't mind putting it out there. I pay a hundred and twenty dollars for for my for my cable and my internet and the home phone that I don't use. Um, and he pays oh, almost he pays about one fifty one sixty, and he getting three he getting three megabyte download, and I was like. Did they wire his house with, uh, hmm. he said, he said they, they dig the hole and they put like fiber optic stuff in there, but I don't know about his house. No, I don't know. I don't know about all that. And he like lives in a very rural area, which I was very surprised that fiber optic went out there, but I don't know. It's got me skeptic whether to switch to fiber optic or not, because y'all know that they are putting fiber optic lines in our apartment complex and AT&T is doing this thing down here but I don't know I may not switch because I don't I don't want slower speeds I want faster speeds so you know <laughs> right. the, you know the fact that I you know and here's the thing too that um, uh, you know speaking about PUBG PUBG was only 5 gigs to to download surprisingly yeah I saw that grand grandpa showed it when he was downloading it yeah and Call of Duty was 55 or something like that. And people say, well, that's why, and, and we were having this debate the other day, me and Crew Doc, that's why Call of Duty, you know, has more issues. But you got to remember, half of that, half of that is crap. Half of that is zombies that's not even needed. And I, and I, and I will agree with Crew Doc. I believe Call of Duty shall be, should, should separate their zombie game from their Call of Duty game. I don't think it should be the same game. Um, I don't know. I don't know because I enjoyed the the zombie World War Two. I actually thought it was the scariest uh, zombies as of the last three four years of Call of Duty. No, I agree. I it, it is better. I actually played it, and if I was in the zombies, this would be the zombies I would play. Um, but I just think it should be its own game, like a separate game. Yeah, but then people will cry about it. See, the thing about it is. How would they make enough money compared to see right now they got both both the the zombie only card player because it's streamers that only stream zombie and then you got the multiplayer card players that stream nothing but multiplayer. Notice so nobody making, streams campaign. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, campaign is like five stages. Right? I did, I did, I did when the when the when the servers were down for two hours. Oh, and that's what. Go ahead. That's handy. People only stream campaign. Only when the servers are down. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. But they they making money on both fronts. Now, if you separate the games, right? Mm -hmm. People still buy the multiplayer. Now, the people that just buy zombies might not like that particular one. You get what I'm saying? So they losing out on the people who would have bought it anyway, but not buying it because I don't like this particular zombie. So they might lose money in that way. So they gonna leave it together. Cod's losing money anyway, though. But yeah, no, I, I I see you. I see what you're saying. I just I don't know. To me, it's like Call of Duty takes 55 gigs, but half of the stuff I don't even use. I don't use campaign, and I don't use zombies. Give me the multiplayer. I bet you, you don't the... mind my uh, interjecting here, coming no, from an outside source, a uh, third party, if you will, since this isn't really the kind of game I play. Right. But this is kind of how I feel about uh, what's going on here. I actually do kind of agree with splitting the games, and this is why. So first and foremost, you're talking about lagging issues. Secondly, you're also talking about space. Because if, especially for you, Handy, since you're kind of the big on the anti having a physical copy of a game, whereas I'm more into having a physical copy, for you, <laughs> it's actually better for you to have it as a separate game because it's less space less on your space. hard drive. Exactly. So not only are you getting better gameplay, but you're taking up less space. Um, Call of Duty would make the same amount of money because if you don't like one, you're still going to buy the other. 
So they're still going to make the money either way. The only difference is you're actually going to have a better playing experience and it's going to take up less space on your hard drive if you're one of the people that are download only as opposed to buying physical copies. You definitely make sense there. You definitely make sense there. Facts. I mean, because literally, like, I can't, I can't download another game on my PlayStation because Call of Duty's taking up so much gigs. And, and I'm like, which, what, by the way, this is one of the big reasons I'm a physical, physical copy guy. Uh, yeah, I, I, I have a I'm a physical guy. copy guy with you, uh, OG. Definitely. Yeah. Well, that's why my PlayStation is gonna last longer than you guys is because you guys use physical and I use. No, there is <laughs> no. Because when your there PlayStation is no, crashes, and you lose all your games, I'm sorry, bro. You got to buy them all again. No, I don't. 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 Because yes, guess what? Man. Nope. Because it, they're all they're all they're all linked to my profile. So as soon as I go and oh, okay. put in my profile, they but download do again. You know, but you know what you're gonna have to do if your system shuts down, right? Uh huh. You go to another PlayStation. You're gonna have to deactivate it from the shutdown system. Before you can activate your primary on the new system, they won't do it so, for me. Nope, they won't do it. And you, in in some places, you gotta wait. A, I believe it's like three three days to a week so they can do it. How because can, how can they do it if you're how can they do it if your thing is bro like if you can't get on it and it's gone? How do you they gotta do it? actually go to the site and ask them to do it for you. And believe oh me, oh my god, sucks. that makes Xbox so much better, bro. It sucks. <laughs> And so, because you you know you can only have yeah a main account on one PlayStation at a time. So, right. in order for you to do it on another one, you would have to take it off the first one and then put it on the second one. Yep, wow. um, a good friend of mine had to go through that himself. So, yeah, rip OG oh. physicals, but rip. as a person who do do both, because I do have both. The reason why because I game share with my brother and buying one copy of a game compared to buying two copies of the game that yeah you know, makes sense that so um and we play a lot of the same game so instead of buying buying one fighting game or buying two fighting games i could just buy one and we both play it right and right so um so I, I i do agree there's good size on both sides right but of course. handy you gotta upgrade that hard drive <laughs> i know i know I know. I know i know i gotta get an external and, hard and it's not it's not expensive it's really not expensive I know, I know. Put that on the Christmas list. There you go. <laughs> but I'm I'm really playing my Xbox a lot more now that PUBG's out. But definitely, um, I probably will, I don't know when uh, Soul Calibur Six coming out. They never gave a release date. They just said it's coming out, didn't they? Uh, no, I think they, it was they, 2018. They yeah, they just said 2018. They didn't give yeah. no type of date. I just say one thing: they better have Taki in the game. <laughs> Taki better yeah. be in the game. I like not I to, agree. but Taki better be in that game. Yeah, so I mean that that's my that's my hand down thing about PUBG. You know, I, I absolutely love the game. Uh, if you go to my clips, actually, if you go to my um to my boom, there's a clip out there that you guys got to see. Apparently, when you teabag, they give you heavy nuts. Um, <laughs> I'm just being real. Just being real. <laughs> D uh, Diesel girl knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yesterday, I got this kill and I teabagged somebody. And when I teabagged him, dude, his body just started flipping and flopping in the air like went flying. And I was just like, and so I went over there and I did it again, and it happened again. It was freaking hilarious. I was like, dang, they give you some heavy nuts in this game. Um, mm. also a little funny stuff. Again, not to make this show X-rated because I'm really not, but it's something I think they need to. My 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 daughter, well, my daughter didn't notice it, but my wife pointed it out while I was playing, um, while I was playing PUBG, because my daughter absolutely loves PUBG. She's like, oh my, like my daughter was so excited. She's like, Daddy, you finally get to play PUBG, and like my daughter's like. If I'm good at school, can I watch you play PUBG? Like, my daughter absolutely loves PUBG. In fact, she was like, you finally get to play with Grandpa on PUBG. But, yeah, then Grandpa doesn't like the PUBG on Xbox. So she was kind of sad. She was like, so, wait, Grandpa's not going to play? Like, no, this seriously, this was a conversation with my six-year-old daughter yesterday. She was like, why isn't Grandpa playing PUBG? And I was like, well, I don't think he likes it. Why? It's PUBG. You fi And I was like, babe, he's... he's He's not going to play it. And she was like super sad. 
Like, my, my, my daughter loves watching Grandpa. Now, fortunately, I have to mute Grandpa a lot because, you know, Grandpa drops a lot of F-bombs, F-bombs. and stuff, you know. Yeah. That's just Grandpa, though. I mean, you know. Yeah. But she loves watching Grandpa. Like, she legitimately thinks Grandpa is like my real Grandpa. <laughs> she's like, your Grandpa's on TV, Dad! Because she's never, she's never really met my real Grandpa. Um, so she thinks Grandpa's like my real Grandpa. I'm like, sure, why not? But, um... But yeah, so you know, it's pretty freaking hilarious though. The um the one thing that my wife noticed though, you can see genitalia if you have the um like just him in the like cuz the character for a while was like stuck in the underwear and I had the female character and you could totally see her camel toe. Totally. Uh, <laughs> she totally had camel toe. My daughter's or my wife was like, "Um, you know, I see her junk, right?" And I was like, "Holy crap, that's crazy." I bought it for Grandpa uh, Pooch yesterday. I think Grandpa streamed it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I know. But Grandpa said that on Twitter he didn't like the game very much, so I don't see him playing it um, that often. Yeah, uh, um, OG, see, that's what I was talking about, what just DB said earlier. He said, uh, just for the sake of debate, with both Zombie and multiplayer campaign being together reduces the cost of the developer. You know, he named some things like shared UI, graphics, and engine assets, as well as cost, crossover and employees. That's, those are the type of the things I was naming earlier. Uh, mm-hmm. I was trying to put that point across. is uh, Doing that, forcing you to uh, make two separate games versus just putting it in one, you know, and then distributing two different type of games versus just dis- distributing one and just having both most features. But yeah, it, it does hurt the developers a lot. Mm-hmm. Kuda made a good point. Maybe just, you know, only having to, to download the section you want. They can separate the, the section. I don't want the, I don't want the multiplayer, so I don't have to download that. Se- I mean, I don't want the zombie song. I don't have to download that section of the game. If okay. I ever do want to, I could just download that section. That would have been cool. For, okay, to I agree with that. Space, so. Kuda did a good, he made a good idea right there. Maybe they could do something like that. That would be cool. And Crew Dog did another thing. He also bought the game for Grandpa and Pooch. And technically, he also bought the game for me on PC. I'm just at the moment, wasn't my PC is not able to to handle it. But I know one day I will get a gaming PC. And that's why I, I didn't return it or anything like that. So, again, thank you, Crew Dog, for all the love and support that you do. Not just for me, but for everybody, man. You are freaking awesome. You are definitely, definitely freaking cool. Um, I really wish the goat, the, the greatest, goat. the Twitch daddy crew dog, man. He he deserves a shout out. He is the man of one man in the Twitch community. I swear. Yep. He is really, is really freaking cool. It is really freaking awesome. And OG, since I know you want to talk about the game show awards, man, I'm gonna let you go ahead and bring it, man. All right. So for those who um, haven't seen it. Um, the video game, or well, the game award is what they're calling it now because they're not doing the disgrace that G4 did many years back, which was the original video game awards where it was kind of played out and dumb. But they're actually doing the game awards a lot better. It actually feels like E3 the way it used to be, where it was exclusive and it was actually really, really cool to Thank watch. Thank you for the Thank you for the biddies, boobies. Go ahead. 20. No, but um, yeah, the video game award was legit. They basically sold a lot of new world premieres. Um, basically, I don't remember all the names of the games, but definitely uh, Soul Calibur Six was one of them. Uh, I was gonna bring that up, but y'all already talked about it. They also did two different games that were having a strong emphasis on co-op, which I think was really legit. Like they're really focusing on doing two player co-op campaign, which I think would be interesting to stream too, for those who are in the streaming. Um, that might be a way to bring quote unquote single player on the map. Well, not, it wouldn't really be single player, I guess it'd be co-op, but still, uh, it, it's supposed to be heavy multiplayer. This could be something different because the way that one of the games looked was you actually had, uh, it was actually kind of split screen, but it wasn't to the point to where it was hard to see, you know, because it was kind of story based. I can't think of the name of the game, but it looked really legit. But basically you play two characters that were having like life situations, like breaking out of prison, 
and just doing all kinds of stuff in life. It, it, it would all, it would almost be like Grand Theft Auto if it was more story based and um, something along those lines. I guess is the best way to put it. But they did spoil that game. They talked about the fifty versus fifty Fortnite update, which I'm not a fan um, of. But that's just personal. Yeah. Idea. Um, I'm gonna ask you a question about that later. Okay, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, DP. I mean, oh, 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 yeah, go, ahead. Go, no, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. He said, No, later. go ahead. Keep, keep going. Keep going. Oh, okay. Um, and as far as awards are concerned, uh, Overwatch, and I wanted to bring this up because I know you're a huge Overwatch fan. Yes. Um, it was best ongoing game. This yes. is the first time they've ever came up with this category. And basically, what this category is, is basically it's this is a category for games that have been out for a while that people are still playing. Yes. I think this is a good idea because this puts games on the map right. that not only were good when they dropped, but are still good. Games that are still legit. So shout outs to Overwatch. Um, game of the year, as everybody probably knows already, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yes. Um, you know, Nintendo Switch doing big things. I think they actually won two awards, but I forgot what the other one was because it wasn't nearly as important to me. Um, but the show was, uh, was amazing. I want to say they spoiled Mega Man 11, but I'm not 100% sure. But I'm very, very hype about Mega Man 11. Uh, everybody that knows me knows I'm a huge Mega Man fan. And, uh, you know, I literally lost my shit uh, when that came out. Um, and then, you know, when I saw the little video clips of what I did see of Soul Calibur 6, it actually looked pretty cool. As a matter of fact, my. My girlfriend made the mistake of thinking that it was Tekken at first, and I was like, no, that's Soul Calibur. Yeah. But it, it, but it I, was really, really cool. And, and I can understand the misconception, because they do kind of look alike depending on, you know, how you're looking at it. But no, I, I could tell it was Soul Calibur. I, I knew I knew life. it was right as it dropped. I was like, I was like, babe, it's Soul Calibur. And my wife's like, what? And I was like, it's Soul Calibur. And I was like, oh, my Jesus. I was so <laughs> hyped, bro. I, I'm, oh, yeah. I love, I love the Soul Calibur fight mechanics. I don't know what I it was is. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Rooting for Persona 5 to win the game of the year. It yeah, Persona 5, that was a legit one, too. Like, Persona 5, like, I, I'm actually kind of into it now, even though I was a little iffy about it at first, as far as the series in general. But Persona 5 is pretty cool. Um, but unfortunately, any time a, a Legend of Zelda game comes out, nothing beats it. That's just what yeah. it is. Back yeah. when Legend of Zelda Link to the Past came out, number one. Back when Old Credit of Time came out, number one. I mean, you just don't beat The Legend of Zelda. That's, like, be- that's just what it is. Mm, that's how the, Star the, Wars was when Star reason, Wars used to come out like that. The reason I really wanted it to win, well, because a lot of people was going for Mario, Super Mario Odyssey too. But the reason I wanted Persona 5 to win, because we all knew Breath of the Wild was awesome. We all know that. But I wanted to showcase a different game other than the obvious either Zelda, Mario, Call of Duty. Something right. else to get a spotlight, and I, I I think Persona Five deserves that spotlight because the game really does deserve it, and it does. That's why I was really rooting for it. I, I'm not mad that Zelda won. I just wanted somebody else to get. He's gonna rant on Twitter. Better watch <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it's it's just is the game is awesome, and I I want everybody to be able to, to experience. It really is a great game. Yeah, yeah, it's just uh, Nintendo's a cheater this year. Because, I mean, <laughs> let's just be honest. They had a monopoly. You were either going to win with Legend of Zelda, you were going to win with the Mario Odyssey, or you were going to win with the first legit RPG that the Switch put out, which was Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Um, although I've heard mixed opinions about it. But Nintendo yeah. just dropped bombs this year. You were Nobody was going to touch them. I'm a big nobody. Xeno Gear Blade fan, though. Like, I've been playing Xeno Gears. Since well, you should be. You might be happy to see this game. It literally just dropped on Switch. So that'd be another reason for you to get yeah. a Switch. Oh, oh, man. That's a really legit RPG. It is a really legit. Yeah, it's really nice, and you can get very strong in this game. So you might like that. I that might. Have, somebody it. might have to gift it for me because my if I drop a hundred and something dollars on a freaking, <laughs> my wife would kill me. She's like, you got it. She'd be like, you got a PS4, you got an Xbox, you just bought PUBG. Yeah, they, yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> not, not this year. Nope. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, can't say I blame her. But no, the, the awards, though, like, it was a really good show. Like, anyone who saw the G4 version, like, what, seven, eight, nine years ago, would have been disappointed in what they put out. Because honestly, it didn't seem serious. But this time, it's a legit award show. 
It's actually kind of funny. It even has its own, like, you know, band and orchestra and all that. So you're almost going to video games live while you're actually, you know, in the show. Like, and, you know, again, it's an exclusive thing. You They invite people. You know, it's what E3 used to be, so to speak. And that could be, like, the new bucket list instead of going to E3, going to, like, you know, the award show. Like, that would be cool. Uh, maybe we could do um, that. Maybe we could do that. You know, and, and again, the fact that they were even recognizing streamers like Dr. Disrespect and then, like, the guy from Able Gamers, I thought that was cool. I didn't think that they were even going to give streamers really the, the, the time of play, but they actually got a lot of, like, love yeah. in that show. Like, yeah. I, I, that's why now, every year, I want to watch the Game Awards now yeah. because it's become legit. And it, it, you know? it makes me, it really, it helps, it, like... It strives to me to me to be a really good prof- like like as far as professional wise to try to be as best streamer as I can be of myself because yeah. I want I want to be there I want to be there I want you know that's something go ahead what you it's say? smart for them to to recognize the streamers and this that and the other because what that does is it brings people who just look at the video game awards and say oh they got people who stream the game oh look mm-hmm. at the following this guy has let me go yeah. watch. And that just brings yeah. more people to Twitch. So it was a great marketing tool, not great not marketing. just a good thing for the gaming industry. It was a great marketing tool. They were smart with that one. So you yeah. don't be surprised no, if you don't see some more. Not um, only that, not only did they had a U. Let me let me share something with you guys. There was a gaming awards in the in the U.S., but before the one hat dropped in the U.S., there's also one in the U.K. Um, they also they uh they also give ML MLG awards to the. I don't know if it's a gaming awards one in the UK, but I know they recognize streamers in the one in the UK, but they also um, recognize MLG players in in the UK also. They do it here too. Oh, they do. Okay, cool. Yeah, they uh, actually did give awards out to like the best um... online entertainer. I think it was called that. Yeah. Well, no, they actually had one for like best um, like competitive uh, player for esports or something like that. It was a, it was like an Asian guy. I can't think of the name, but there was a guy. Who did win like an award for being like, uh, like I guess uh, the most popular esports player or something like that? And uh, I know Crim Six won the one in, um, I think the one in the UK. I, no, not Crim Six. It was um, formal, formal, formal one one. And then the one of the optic creators won one for like for like the one of some like one of the best videos or something like that. So like, you know, you're not like the gaming industry is like really recognizing everybody that like does things in the community, whether you're a creator, whether you're a streamer, whether you're a gamer, whether you are somebody that makes games. And I really think that's freaking awesome. Um, oh, you yeah. know, and you yeah. know, and that's why I always tell you guys that are streamers, always try to be the best person you can be. Always be like the professional version of yourself because you just never know you never know and like this drives me to be a better streamer because you know like like i always like i did music back then but i never wanted to win a grammy because i thought like personal opinion i think the grammys are just you know a little bit more i don't know it's just not my thing you know like i never saw myself winning a grammy or winning any kind of music awards but this is a streamer like i could actually see myself like i want i want this like i'm not saying like i'm better than anybody that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is like i i want to strive for this goal and i think that's really freaking cool and it's something that i'm going to strive for um so I, i'm pretty excited you know what i mean whether it takes me 7 years 20 years you know let's yeah, go ain't nothing wrong with having a goal like that nope Ain't nothing wrong, and I, I think I think a lot of people should, you know, like have some mm-hmm. have some kind of goal that drives you to be the to be a better version of yourself, you know. Oh yeah. You know, because as long as you're the better version, of, as long as you're the best version of yourself, then you're good, you know. Um, if you're not giving yourself a hundred and ten percent, then you need to um, you need to, you know, figure out why am I not giving myself a hundred ten percent. What can I do to give myself my 110% at mm-hmm. all times? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Definitely. Because personally, I wish that. I, I one, of the, one of the ultimate things that I want to do personally for my brand is, uh, I mean, I do plan on eventually doing this. It's just going to be a matter of time and space and money. But I actually do want to get, you know, better equipment as far as like a really, really strong gaming PC, um, my own game room, um, better recording, you know, stuff. 
uh, media devices so that I can make some legit videos and actually bring some really, really solid content uh, on YouTube in general. Like, you know, maybe start doing some Let's Plays, um, maybe just, you know, continue to do some of the games that I play or new games that I pick up. Like, I kind of want to make my videos 10 times better and, like, actually make a little more professional and, you know, and actually be able to do it as a thing. It's just going to take time and money. But and but, but the beautiful happen. thing is, though, the beautiful thing is about your situation that I love is that you're starting straight up from the bottom. Like, you're little, like, y'all don't understand. This boy right here is recording videos straight up from his phone. And this dude's got like videos like in three and in, in, like triple digits, you know what I'm saying? Like this dude's like little legitimately has no microphone, nothing. He's just doing yeah, it all I from his have phone. No equipment. <laughs> he's just literally doing it all from his S8, and he's doing it. So to see you do that, and to see you want to grow, and to see and to see you grow, and you already building up that fan base, bro, that's freaking awesome. Like you know what I mean? That is. Bro. That's freaking awesome. And I mean, your your subscriber to viewer ratio is off the charts. You know what I mean? Um, oh, cool. well, you I know, that. it's really off the charts, man. And you know, not to say that th that matters, but that's the stuff that people look at. You know, as far as when people want to like quote unquote sponsor you or whatever, or what the mm -hmm. for you know, they look at that stuff. They're like, well, what's OG subscriber to viewer ratio? And that's uh, Samsung. Uh, what Samsung? Samsung creator the next Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, he legitimately creates everything from his S8 He records all the gameplay and everything and it's really freaking cool You know and I was just casually showing him, you know that he could do that, you know And it's it's took off for him and it's gonna be something amazing to see um, Shout outs to the bucket list. I know our PAX thing is next on you know our bucket list But I do have some sad news about PAX the um the three day pass is already sold out. <laughs> yeah, I, I already believe that. I, I was surprised they didn't sell out sooner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. Honest. Me and my <laughs> wife was saying that too, and I was legitimately, I was legitimately, after this meeting, like depending on what happens, because we'll be discussing a lot of things, you know, about the packs and stuff like that. Um, yo, thank you, Diesel, for the biddies. Let's go. Um, you know. Whether they're gonna have me, you know, because I'm gonna talk about, you know, me being up there for packs for them or not, or what's going on, and me being a more part of the the channel over there. And so I was legitimately gonna be buying my pass like after this meeting. But right now, the only passes that are available are single day passes. So I was thinking possibly just go like on a Saturday. I think a Saturday yeah, would well. be the best bet um, to that go. That would be the best bet. I agree. You know, you gotta remember to remind Boop. Uh, challenge yeah, yeah yeah yes yeah so we gotta <laughs> we gotta let boobies know yeah the challenge is who can get the most swag from pax because they're going to pax east i think i think so we're gonna see who can get the most swag so mm -hmm. yeah so that would be freaking awesome but just to let you all know and then um b so do you have anything to discuss if not i'll talk about my final topic then um... i want to I meant to. Um, oh, I supposed to ask you about the, a game earlier. Oh yeah, yeah. You said, um, what game was that? You said you didn't like. Oh, um, we were talking about the fifty, uh, fifty versus fifty mode. Yes, the mode, the fifty versus. Yeah. Oh, why? I don't, I don't, what, what's your thoughts on that? Why you don't like it? Why do I don't like it? Because it's less fulfilling. It takes, it takes the enjoyment mm -hmm. of winning, out of. Oh, hold on. It takes the. Oh, there was a freaking fly on my mic. There's, it takes an enjoyment out of winning, and then it's like, you know, you got to rush and hurry up because your teammates don't act like teammates. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got 50 freaking teammates on what you got on one team, and you just people got doing whatever they want. And it's like, because it's so, because, you know, you end up more running into your teammates than you do the enemy. So to me, it's just like really, really boring. To be uh, okay, yeah. So too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. basically, if everybody was more of a team player, you'd like it better. Possibly, yeah. Possibly, yeah. and then the fact, and the and the fact that you can't communicate with all fifty people, you can only commit communicate with the forty with the four people that you show up with, is kind of annoying. Like I understand that you know you can't have a fifty mic thing, but at least make emotes or some kind of like like hand gestures. Yeah, a chat. a chat or hand gestures, something 
to communicate. But I, I definitely understand where you're coming from on that. Yeah, you know what? You're right about. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Um, my uh, attraction to that part is the fact that you can go one v fifty if you choose to. Yeah. Well, not full fifty, but you can. You know, I've I've had a moment where it's like a whole army versus you know, a couple of players that you are, and it's, you know, that's kind of exhilarating. But as you said, if you got the lead and you up by about 15 players, you know, game over. Right. So I understand right. where you, you're coming from. It, it lacks that that um, zing you feel when you win in a solo or a duel. And you get nothing for it. A squad. You, you yeah, know, you, you get, get nothing, nothing for it. You know, I'm a personal believer, even in the season play, that if you do well in the season play, that you should get some V coins. You know, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and there's like no reward. There's no fulfillment in the 50 50, you know, shoot. If we win a 50 50, give us like 10, you know, 10 V coins or something, you know, man, they're trying to keep that money, man. They ain't trying to get that away. <laughs> they, want, they ain't trying to get that away at all. They like me. This is a totally free game other than the PVE side. So. The only way they can make money is to have people buy their V coins, unless they, you know, bought the PVE side and keep playing PVE. So, I mean, it, I mean, if I'm gonna play slower gameplay, I might as well play PUBG and have a more fulfillment out of it. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, because mm -hmm. that's that's one thing that you know that separates PUBG from Fortnite. Also, is the is the fast is the fast gameplay because PUBG yeah, is not fast. Again. Yeah. Yeah, PUBG is much slower. Yeah. If anything, if I was to compare any game to any game, I would when it comes to speed, I would compare Fortnite to H one Z one because H one Z one has got the same speed. You know. Um, yeah. Speed wise. But yeah. um, you know what I mean. But um, yeah. So like that's the reason why I don't like the fifty versus fifty, and I can't wait yeah, for it to go those away. Those are valid points. Yep. Yep. And the next thing I want to talk about is the Call of Duty World League. The CWL Dallas that happened in Dallas, we have new, well, not new champions, but the champions were TK. And if you missed that tournament, you missed, in, by far, in my opinion, the best Call of Duty championship um, in history so far. And the only reason why is because there was, like, so many teams and, you know, everybody played their hardest. You know, even even Optic played their hardest. The one thing that I feel that happened, and excuse me while I stretch my knee for a second because my knee is cramping, but the one thing that I feel that happened that, that I want to discuss with you guys is I believe fatigue played a major factor, and I feel like that's the reason why Optic lost because literally people were playing Call of Duty, competitive Call of Duty, from 9 a.m. all the way up to... 11 o'clock at night and this was day three of the event now those that don't know the reason why day two was so crazy and sporadic is because there was a bomb threat in Dallas with the event so they had to shut down the event for a while get everybody evacuated uh, because somebody did threaten to blow up the place and so that made Saturday all crazy now um, for those that don't know Optic did lose to TK. Um, well, actually, they lost to they lost to TK, but their final blow was the loss to Splice, and they lost to Splice due to a quarterback sneak play, as I call, with the flag. They were playing capture the flag, and it was a tie game. It was, uh, I believe, it was an overtime game, and there was uh, it was five five, and Splice came in to give the final blow with the sneak down the middle on I believe London Docks. Now, I'm an Optic fan by far. You guys know I love Optic. You know, I got to play with freaking Optic Midnight, which is freaking cool. And but I believe that they need to change the tournament system somehow. I don't know how, but I believe um to be able to play nine hours of Call of Duty and then to play the grand finale on the same day is a little crazy. Um, I feel like that they should have a separate day just for the main final game. You know, you don't play 
seven games of football and then play the Super Bowl on the same day. Now, granted, I know that's, you know, a different, more physicality and all that <laughs> stuff. But, you know, you have to understand Call of Duty in a, in a physical standpoint is less physical, but it's a lot of mental. And I know when I'm playing games for 10 hours, like, I'm not thinking the same way that I'm thinking. I'm tired. And call the, you know, competitive, competitive, from a competitive standpoint, you know, like, you're not calling out. Like, so I know, like, when I'm playing a game for 10 hours, this is just when I was doing the 24 hour stream. And I was playing with people. By the 10 hours, I'm not doing call outs. I'm not doing all that. You know, I, my mind's not thinking about that. I'm just, like, going through the motions. Now, I'm not saying that that's what happened with them, you know, because they play on a high cal more high caliber than I do, but we're all human. We all think like humans. We all have human emotions. So I believe that something needs to be changed. I don't know. What what are you what are you guys' thoughts on that? I strongly agree coming from a competitive background. Um, for example, um, you know, me being more into the fighting games genre, anyone that knows about Evo knows that the way that they do it is they have their, you know, their matches throughout the first couple of days and then on the last day are the actual finals. So you're not having to grind all day and then play the championships the same night. They actually give you a chance to get a break and relax a little bit, like, you know, go to sleep, eat, do something to, to kind of get back your strength so that when, the, when it's championship day, top eight or top 16, whatever it is, you do that on the final day when you're nice and rested so that there's no excuse for why you lost. You were, you were rested, you had time to chill, you had time to, re, you know, to regroup. And then boom, you go all out. You can't go all out when you've been already grinding for 10, 12 hours. So I definitely <laughs> understand Handy and I 100% agree with them coming from a, a competitive standpoint, my, my, you know, myself. And, you know, if anyone who knows Evo knows that this is how they do it and that's yeah. how um, this game should have done it too. They should have done their uh, regular matches throughout the first couple of days or whatever and then did a big like top eight or something like on the last day and then let yeah, it that's be what that they do on evo yep they do pools and top 16 top 32 all the way up to top eight and then top eight on normally it's saturday and then sunday top eight is sunday and top eight is sunday yeah yep mm -hmm. to the grand finals and now, i be um, and i believe there was and kudok had a question did they have enough time in between matches i believe that those that were like on the main stage they only had eight minutes eight eight minutes between um eight eight minutes eight minutes between games that's literally just to take a piss and come back you can't even take a dump in eight minutes i don't care who I'm, you are i'm about to uh i might get some flag for this but as as i agree with you there should there there might need to be something i got some questions the reason why they might not okay did you do do you feel that they played slop well do you feel that the it was a bad game on their last game the last game, yeah, I feel like, the, dude, they, they, they played bad. Yeah, dude, they they didn't lose. They 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 freaking got blown up at a hard point, their hard point map that they've been like owning on the whole game, and then their 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 capture the flag, which they didn't lose all day. They played sloppy that game. They played really freaking sloppy. Also, yeah. one other thing mm -hmm. was there was there differences between them having so much time to play versus somebody else? Or was they all evenly, you know, same exhaustion? You get what I'm saying? I, yeah, that I don't know. That, if I it don't. wasn't no advantage, I don't see a reason to change it. If it was a disadvantage, then yeah, then something should be done about it. But if all the contestants had the same same amount of gameplay time, same amount of time that they've been playing this and grinding, then there would have been no difference. Because the uh, uh, another argument that could come up is, I'm on fire. I want to keep playing. That's and true then too. I got cold because we waited 24 hours. You get what I'm saying? That's so true, too. That's true, it, too. It, I, I agree with you that if it's something that you're giving the team an advantage because they have as much time to rest versus this team, there should be something done about it. But now, if all the teams have the same thing in the same, you know, amount of downtime, then maybe not. I know, but I know, I know Splice had more downtime than they did because Splice was in the loser bracket. So basically what happened was when 
after Call of Duty, because well, Splice had nobody to play. They were waiting to play to see who they were going to play at the, lo the loser bracket to go back into the winner's bracket. So Splice had a lot more time. Now, TK, I don't believe they did. I believe it was the same thing. All of this would have been fine uh, if, if both Saturday and Sunday didn't have the bomb threats called in. They made up for... That's very true, too. That's very true, too. You know, that's true, too. But still, I don't know. Like, you know, even... even From an entertainment standpoint, I think, um, you know, just for the hype, for the audience, I still think that there should be a separate day for, like, the elite play. I mean, yeah, I agree. it has anything to do with, like, you know, the, the how equal they are. I mean, yeah, you could argue that on both sides. But for entertainment value, it's nice to have a Super Bowl. It's nice to have, you know, like, the top mm -hmm. eight. It's not, I mean, this is more entertainment, too, as well. Like, you know, this is something that people would technically pay for if you gave them the option to. Not that I'm advertising it, but just oh, saying in general. <laughs> you know, for, for it's probably state, coming. It's probably coming, but you're probably speaking. It probably speaking. is. Let's just be honest. Even though I'm saying it, I'm sure someone else has already brought it up at a board meeting. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's not going to make a difference <laughs> when I say it, at least not right now. But for just for the sake of hype in general, I'm, I'm all about the hype. I mean, I love hype videos. I love hype tournaments, you know, especially when it comes to gaming. And I do want to see a day to where it's just all the best people and one day duke it out, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's just how I am, more of an entertainment thing than, you know, whether it was fair or not. And then it's still fair either way. I mean, at least this way, rather, you know, someone says, well, I had too much cold out. Well, so did everybody else. And this time you had an equal amount of cooldown, so right. I'm all right with that. Right, you know, yeah. and you know, and the, the, and here and here's the here's the mind-boggling thing. This is the first tournament of the season, and it was already like the, in my opinion, it was the best tournament in uh, history so far. It was even better than uh, the championship last year, in my opinion, just because you had the underdog team that has not been able to show up since Jetpacks. You know, be in the top, be in the top five, and then they like they took over, you know. But they didn't take over because Call of Duty. I mean, because uh, Optic didn't play hard. They played hard. I just feel like they could have played harder if they would have had some rest, um, you know. But that's not to take nothing away from TK. That new kid, the new kid that they have, Kenny, who I believe, if he plays well the rest of the season. He's gonna be somebody. Um, he manhandled Scump. I've <laughs> never seen Scump be manhandled like that. I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe you know, maybe I'm late <laughs> on the Call of Duty, you know, co uh, comp train. But I've never seen Scump manhandled like that. I've never, you know, and even formal too, because formal's a beast. I know, mm. but it was it was good to see. It was good to see Crim Six, you know, get his footing back. You know, because a lot of people, you know, give Crim6 a lot of flack saying that he's done. You know, Crim6 was basically the new nade shot, in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. But then um, Crim6 was uh, was able to show himself. He really showed himself this tournament. I was very happy for him. But, you know, I don't know. This new kid, this, this I'm going to keep my eye on this Kenny kid, man. I'm now following him on Twitter because, I don't know, I think he's going to be something pretty amazing and you know he's gonna be he's gonna be around for a long time i think but i don't know did you watch the tournament at all bizoid no i didn't get a chance to watch the tournament but uh i will be watching it later i got the um got videos on youtube that allows me to catch up yeah yeah if I any, will definitely be watching it watch it watch it watch it and watch that kid kenny watch i'm telling okay. you i'm telling you he you know and everybody's like, well, it's the first tournament. Okay, I get it. But at the same time, <laughs> I've not seen somebody put work, you know, to optic light. And here's something that they were talking about in an interview about Kenny. Um, Clayster, apparently, before Kenny was 18, he would play against Kenny, like, I guess, like online games or something like that. I don't remember exactly. But Clayster said, this kid used to rail me. And, you know, you know how Clayster is, you know, Clayster, he, you know, he, he'll give us props where it's due, but if he thinks you're doing bullshit, he'll say it on the main straight, he'll say it on the main stage. In fact, I remember in, I think it was the Call of Duty France tournament when, um, 
when Optic beat FaZe and it was Clayster and Skump in the interview in the winner's circle. He called it straight up. He was like, well, I figure, I think the, um, I think he said something like, you know, the, the having to stop the game in the middle of the match was bullshit. And I feel like they gave him the, the more of the edge, but it is what it is. You know, shout outs to mm -hmm. Optic, you know, so Clayster, I mean, he, he's very, he's very open about what he wants to say. And the fact that he said, you know, this kid's amazing and he's glad to see him in competitive Call of Duty. It's gonna say something, so I, I don't know. I, I I don't I don't know if he's gonna stay with TK forever, but I, you know yeah. definitely a good a uh, good um, asset for TK right now. So keep your keep your eye out for him, man. Oh, uh, I'll be watching COD Dallas. I'm probably gonna be watching it uh, later today while I'm out running these errands. The squad that I, <laughs> yeah, the squad that I'm playing with, they want us to go like maybe not. We're not gonna compete. But they want us to go like hang out in uh, uh, C CWL New Orleans, so we might all meet up in New Orleans and just hang out and watch the tournament stuff. So it might be, be something be pretty awesome, cool. Man. Might be pretty cool. But I'm about um, to say, handy going to tournaments. Let's go. Oh I, man, I wish I was that good. <laughs> I wish I, I. But I have been thinking about. I have been thinking about. God's put something on my heart to maybe possibly own my own team, um, to be a team owner. Um, cause you know, why not own my own team? <laughs> Go for it, and man. I, and I know, I know a lot of, um, C C W L players. Um, so, you know, I, I know four right now that are looking for a team right now. And then, you know, we got headshot and then we got Nemo and you know, so I don't know. I'm thinking about it, but I don't know where to stick my foot in per se, like all the money that's involved, anything like that. I mean, I got the name, you know, we, you know. The people that I play with, they want me to, you know, bring crew. They want me to bring the CRU, which is the Christ Redeemed Us. They want the squad. You know, everybody's screaming out for the squad. You know, so we might, we may make that into a thing. I don't know. I've been praying on it, you know, for God to show me the doors that I need to walk through. That might be a thing. Your boy Handy might be, might be a Call of Duty owner, man, which would be pretty oh, awesome, boy. you know. So we'll see yeah. what happens. We'll see what happens. But, um, OG, do you have anything you want to? say or anything to talk about well um i do want to bring up one thing um because and i think you already know i was going to bring this up anyway because we both saw it Nin mario brothers cereal oh yes <laughs> oh my god believe it or not i actually looked for it because apparently it came out like a couple of days ago in stores and i went to like two different atbs of walmarts and none of them had it I was so disappointed. I'm but sure it's so the videos that I watched on YouTube of people who do have it, apparently it tastes like Lucky Charms or something like that. It looked like Lucky but, Charms in my opinion. Yeah, but either way, like, I want to get it. Like, I'm still looking for it. But yes, <laughs> there is a Mario Brothers cereal for those who don't know. It's like, Mar like Nintendo and Kellogg's like straight up got together and they have this red box with like a picture of Mario's head on it. That's literally Super Mario cereal. Like, I'll probably end up buying two crazy. boxes. One That's to, crazy. Oh, one, to, one to eat, yeah. one to keep. Do you know what's funny? I can't think of any other company trying. Sony couldn't try that. Microsoft couldn't try that. <laughs> no, Only they can't. Nintendo Only can try Nintendo. that. Only Nintendo. This is how big, much of a big deal <laughs> Nintendo is. Only Nintendo can get away with making cereal and it be a legit thing. <laughs> hey, I remember when Nintendo was like, when it first came out, like, you know, and you had the Nintendo games, like the Nintendo games. Y'all remember the Mario, like when you would go to McDonald's, remember the Super Mario toys? You would get Yeah. Them? Yep. Yeah. I, I had those. Again, the oh, only man. people that were able to do that. Again, Nintendo. 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 They the only ones that get away with it. No, because Mario yeah. was such Mario is such a freaking like boss. Like you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. with... You can't go wrong. You talk about and... Mario, make me want to play one of the fav my favorite Mario. What Mario. what the fuck keep a cereal box? Because the <laughs> cereal box is only gonna be out for a limited time. It's not gonna be forever. So at some point in time, it's gonna be a collector's item. Yeah, I'm a collector for sure. Yep. So, yep. You know. Yep. Uh, but yeah. What I, and, and the funny thing is, the first time I saw it was on Facebook. Yeah, I know. Like I said, a lot of my stuff that I get. <laughs> thanks, thanks to our uh, Facebook. Thanks to Philip's <laughs> wife, 
And yeah, I, it's weird because like we don't hardly ever talk to her, but she obviously she every time she sees something gaming related, she always like tags us, and then right on the yeah. comment we're like, "Yep, this is a podcast. This is going into the podcast." <laughs> 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 so, eh. oh, gee, you say you're a collector. You don't do the amiibo collecting, do you? Please, do I it. don't. No, no. Okay, I, I actually don't. But um, more the only reason that I don't do it though is because I just wouldn't really have the space for it. But honestly, like if I had like a legit big house, I probably would have. But <laughs> I don't collect as much as I used to back in the day because I used to collect cards and other things, but. I just have nowhere to put nothing, and I don't want to have to pay money for storage because then it would just get in bad condition. So mm-hmm. I kind of gave up on collecting, but there are certain little things like the like the Mario Brothers cereal that I will get just for the sake of saying that I have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not going and thinking it's a, a box of Lucky Charms, you know, best cereal, but it is kind of funny that they can pull that off, and you don't think bad about it. You just like, well, they can do it. They could yeah, do it, yeah. Nintendo. Yeah. That's Nintendo. I'm not surprised. They did it. That's Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo. <laughs> I mean, Nintendo is the ish. Um definitely, 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 definitely. But um yeah. If anybody else doesn't have anything else to say, we will kindly start ending the episode because I do have a meeting with Able Gamers at twelve I mean at one and I know B's always gotta do something at twelve. And yeah. OG's got to get ready for work. So yes, he does. And yeah, um, well, I will say on the going out part is one. You guys got fifteen. Go try that, comrades, man. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Go try that Final Fantasy, comrades. Definitely. definitely. Um, also, I will say this every week: gamers keep gaming, man. Just go and have fun and play what you want to play. If you enjoy a game, Great. you play it, no matter what it is. Um, no matter how many negative things it gets on no Twitter. No matter how many <laughs> negative things. If it brings you joy, let it bring you. We got enough things trying to take the joy away. Go ahead and have some. Yeah, haters are everywhere. Forget them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to be a hater. It takes it takes more skill to to try to try to take the hate out of it and try to think of something positive. It's e- and that not that's true in all aspects. It's easier to be angry at somebody for doing something stupid than it is to swallow it and say, you know what? It's all good. I love you, man. I love you. You know what? I I won't even call it hating anymore. I'm just saying, don't if that thing don't bring you enjoyment, then you don't do it. But if it brings somebody right. else enjoyment, let them have them. Let them have fun. You yep. know what I'm saying? Don't yell. This is a line I thought it was re- weird when I first heard it, but it makes sense. Don't yuck another person's yum. Why don't say something is bad because you don't uh, don't understand it or you don't like it? Well, that person obviously does, so let them enjoy. Yep. And I, I, I say it to anybody. Enjoy That's true. life. You like your Wendy's, and I'll like my Jack in the Crack. You know what I'm saying? Hey. You like your Dr. Pepper? I'll <laughs> love my Pepsi. Like, I feel you, bro. Hey, I'm, I'm the reason why I don't like Logan's is because of the experience that I had. We won't talk about Logan's. There was bad service, and literally their toilet sucked, and I got toilet water all over me. And but that's another discussion for another week. But definitely, once hey, <laughs> hey, you know it's all about that first impression, though, right? Sometimes, <laughs> one time. Yeah, you gotta be careful about first impressions. They can be a little deceptive. When it comes to food, this is, I don't know. When it comes to food, it's it's different. But I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't download an update to food. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. There's some microtransactions coming. I hear on certain places. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of microtransactions, you can you, today or this month, uh, you could sub for twenty percent off if you're a first time sub. So if you feel like giving a microtransaction to your streamer, to where you get an emote, so go go right ahead. If you would like that, oh my Jesus, emote that's graciously out there. Right. Go ahead and find, give you know give a nice little sub to the handyman. For real, or any of your <laughs> other favorite streamers that's out there. No, no discriminate because we all work together. We yeah, all work right together. Now. We're all part of the same company, in my opinion. And so, mm-hmm. you know, just putting that out there, it is twenty percent off this month. So, and without further ado, OG, if you want to go ahead, take us out. Go right ahead, man. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the OG podcast. We do thank you guys for listening that are live. You know, we do appreciate all the feedback, all the discussions, all the opinions, because you, your guys' opinions matter. So we do appreciate what you guys say. Thank you for those who will be watching us on YouTube later on. I know my girlfriend will be watching later and will be giving her opinions about it because she's really good at doing that. <laughs> and uh, continue to watch every all three of us on any videos that we do in the future, uh, whether it's together or whether it's single. You know, um, of course, you know, your boy Handy will be on the Able Gamer channel tomorrow. I'll be so playing PUBG. Sure. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> on that PUBG train, ladies and gentlemen. PUBG I also funny. plan on um, playing a Final Fantasy video later on this week, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, and like I spoiled earlier, I'll be doing some Hearthstone videos in 2018, um, the new project that I'm doing, the solo mission. So uh, be hype about that on the hype train. Uh, and if, I don't know if Bezoy is doing anything special, but if he is, follow the, his hype train as well. Bezoy will be streaming soon. Yes, there you 2018. Go. Bezoid coming 2018 through. is going to be a big year, yep. you know, so yes, there you sir. go. So just, you know, show us the love and support to all of us, you know. Uh, we do this because we this is what we like doing, you know, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So you guys take it easy and keep gaming. Keep gaming. Keep gaming, y'all. We out. Uh, and make sure we hit the button.